Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute, it's been a while, and I'm so sorry. I wish I could give you a good excuse, but as you can tell, I guess I kind of have a little bit of a good excuse. I definitely have a different background. It's still a work in progress here. Um, I'm going through a little bit of like a re, I don't want to say it's a rebranding because I've been kind of doing this for a little while now, but kind of making it really official in terms of like my focus in beauty and my focus in beauty is like clean and conscious beauty. I don't want to say it's exclusively clean beauty only and like I'm really strict about it because I'm not. I still try other brands and um, but yet I still am like I still look into the ingredients and want to make sure that there's some element of safety in terms of what they're using and it's not products that are just filled with a lot of preservatives and trash that we're putting on our bodies. So um, that is very much my focus, clean conscious beauty, um, but I'm trying to kind of put it out there in a more consistent manner across all my social platforms and my blog and things like that, which I hadn't done yet and I've been doing this clean beauty thing for two years. So it's time, um, as well as obviously this room that I film in is one of our guest bedrooms, but my hope, I'm sharing this out loud, my hope is that my current guest bedroom, which is across the hall, is going to hopefully be a baby room one day, another baby room, and then that guest bedroom and this makeup room is, is going to have to become both. So I basically set it up to kind of be able to accommodate a guest bedroom, a guest bed and things like that in here. So. Long story short, um, a lot going on here, but it's the kind of almost end of summer, and I can't believe it. I feel like we're still in the deep part of summer, but it's kind of getting to the end. I know a lot of schools are going back, and it's just a crazy, crazy time, but um, I have some products I want to share with you guys that I've been really religiously using for the last pretty much all summer with the exception of one um, that I can definitely see myself continuing to use for the fall because they work really well. So let's get into it. Okay, so I guess we can talk about skincare. Oh, let's do skincare first and then I'll kind of dabble into the makeup, Oop, the makeup realm. So um, in case you guys are totally new to my channel, I have been going through some infertility treatments. We're obviously trying to get pregnant for a second baby and with that, I've taken a lot of hormones and they make your skin a little nuts. So I had to really scale back majorly on a lot of the products I was using and my routine now is Pretty boring, but it seems to be keeping my face in a calmer place. With that said, I want to introduce you guys to my moisturizer that I've been using all summer and I'm definitely going to continue to use through the fall. And this is the Calm Facial Oil by Sykes and Lano Beauty. You're probably going to be like, what is that brand? Um, this is a brand just created by my local facial estheticians. Um, it's just two women. They've started their own business. They're expanding their product line and they have, I think almost like everything now, they have cleansers, moisturizers, face masks, they even have acne dots, um, a couple different facial oils, I believe. Anyway, point is, this oil has changed my skin. This was probably the first thing they introduced to me when I came in there months ago, complaining of really congested skin and all these hormonal breakouts, which don't get me wrong, I still get the hormonal breakouts, but the congestion has dramatically alleviated. And I credit switching from using all the other moisturizers I was using, which worked for a long time, um, but then didn't work, to switching to this. And all it is is squalane oil and obsidian oil. And they're very, very non-comedogenic, extremely good at reducing inflammation and healing acne, which is like amazing, because <laughs> that's my problem. So um, all I do is I use this as the last step in my routine before I put SPF on in the daytime and then it's the last step in my routine completely at night. Um, I'm pretty generous with it. It says you only need two or three drops. I probably use like six to eight drops um, and I just like to you know massage it into my skin and press it into my skin. It's truly healed and calmed my, my inflammation and congestion down in conjunction with obviously getting regular facial treatments that I have been having to do because I can't use a lot of chemicals on my skin because of the infertility treatments. So I've been seeing my facial girls a little more than the normal to kind of combat that. But this facial oil, guys, I've never used a facial oil in my life that actually works, ever. You can search this blog, you can search my YouTube. I don't use facial oils. This is the only one I've like ever been able to use and I feel like my skin truly is in a calmer, more calmer, less congested place. So I really love this. If you struggle with hormonal breakouts, really congested feeling skin, um, I love that this is super simple. There's not a lot of like extra botanicals in it. It's basic as F, but it works. Okay, 
<clears throat> and then to kind of piggyback off of that, this is something I did at pretty recently, once my skin kind of got into a better routine. I didn't introduce this until the congestion and the breakouts slowed down. Um, and I, once that happened, which was after I had to kind of pull back on a lot of the products I was using, a lot of the active products, um, once I got it, it calmed down, I added in this SkinCeuticals Discoloration Defense. Sorry, I don't know if this is going to focus. The, bright, the lights are bright in here, but I think it's good. I think it gives you like a natural, um, a good clearer picture of my skin and everything. But anyway, so this has basically replaced my vitamin C serum right now. I'm not saying I will not ever go back to using a vitamin C serum. I'm not saying the vitamin C serums I've used in the past are not good. They are. They worked for a long time. But a lot of them do have a lot of other ingredients in there that just for whatever the reason is right now with these hormones, I can't use them. Um, what makes this one different is vitamin C is not the actual only ingredient that can brighten discoloration on the skin. It is a great anti-aging ingredient, but it's not, if your main concern is to fade discoloration, acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, things like that, there are other ingredients on the market that do that. And this um, discolor duration, this coloration defense is one of them. So I want to say it has about three, oh, actually it looks like it has four. The four main ingredients that are responsible for helping lighten the discoloration of the skin is tronexamic acid, I'll put this on the screen, tronexamic acid, niacinamide, which is a pretty well-known one, kojic acid, and sulfonic acid. So it's supposed to promise brighter, more even-toned skin and lightening the intensity of discoloration. And I really think it's helped. Um, I, want, I can't say it's better or worse than vitamin C, but it's just exposing my skin to a different combination of ingredients to achieve my end goal, which is a more even brighter um, complex, even brighter and clearer complexion. So if you've used vitamin C in the past and maybe you just really haven't felt like it's done much for you, try something like this. There's a, there's a lot of other ingredients on the market that can get you lightened and brighter skin. I don't want to say lightened, but lightened discoloration um, and brighter, more even toned complexion, you know, Vitamin C is a great anti-ager. It's a great um, antioxidant, but there's other options. So feel free to you know explore and try other things. Okay, and then the third thing I've raved about on my Instagram a ton, it is this Vichy Mineral 89 Eye Serum, Eye Cream. Sorry, my, my camera's learning where to focus. I use this every single morning under my eyes before makeup. It has changed the way concealer blends out under my eyes. I am 36 years old now and I was finding that I couldn't find the right combination of concealer and setting powder for under my eyes. I cannot not use a setting powder under my eyes because I'm still very oily, but yet I am not 22 anymore and I can't, you know, just pile on a bunch of loose powder, let it bake for a second and call it a day. That makes me look 10, 15 years older than I am. So I was trying so many different combinations of powders and concealers and what it really came down to, which is a basic, is when your makeup doesn't look good, it's more often than not because your skincare is not right. So when you get your skincare right, your makeup pretty much goes much better. Um, so the reason I really like this eye serum is, first of all, like I said, it's a serum, it's not a cream. I was finding like eye creams were too heavy for me because I have oilier skin. So this is like a gel, you can see here. And it's really slippery. It's hyaluronic acid based. It also has a little bit of caffeine, which is what I really think helps, especially for the daytime when I'm using it under makeup because it firms and tightens a little bit, any of those fine little lines and things like that. So it's hydrating and plumping the skin while also giving it a little bit of firmness. So when I go in with concealer and powder, everything lays a little bit nicer. So if you have a problem with the under eye area, concealer looking a little not great, powder not looking that great, but yet you need powder, Maybe try this. It might be the answer to your prayers as well. Okay, let's buckle down and move into makeup. I actually don't have much time because I have to go pick up my kid. It took me a while to get this filming area set up this morning. Okay, so first things first, this is actually going to be a video coming up very soon, if not in the next week. Um, Color Science Flex Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. This is my everyday sunscreen and foundation. This is what I've used on my face every single day all summer. I have two because I'm in between shades. Ugh, I hate when that happens. I'm in between medium and tan. So I'm pretty much, uh, I'm mixing them to get the right color or I'm just using tan or I'm just using medium depending on how tan I am. I'm a little on the not tan side today. So I've been using more medium, less tan, but 
you get my point. I have to mix, which sucks. But this product is incredible. This is a revolutionary in product. This is going to make like my top favorites of the year, absolutely for sure, because it's so innovative. So this is not just a tinted moisturizer. This actually provides like medium buildable coverage. And it also has mineral sunscreen, which I'm very big on because I have very sensitive skin, so mineral sunscreen works better on me. It doesn't irritate my skin as much. It definitely doesn't clog my pores. That's another journey I've been on is realizing a lot of the mineral sunscreens I might have been using had other ingredients in them that were causing that congestion in my skin while I was taking these hormones. So I had to find another mineral sunscreen that was working, and this Color Science one has been one of them. There's there's another one, but this is the one I've been using to give me more of a even complexion. So let me use the medium one to show you guys. But it comes out like white. It's one of those ones that kind of blend in as you rub it in and then it changes colors. Um, but I, in the morning, I just put this on like in my palm. I rub it together and I just smack it all over my face like it's sunscreen. But the coverage is so nice because literally it's like a foundation. You're probably not even gonna tell because it blends in pretty well. Like I said, medium's a little bit too light for me, but then tan is like too dark. Let's see if I can put a little tan on just to show you. But love this, absolutely love this. In the morning when I go drop my daughter off at school, I put this on, I brush up my brows, and that's it. I feel so much more put together. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. You can kind of tell, like my hand has like more makeup-y look. But it also has like a natural finish. It's not, um, matte but it's also not dewy i have nothing but good things to say about this i'm so thankful a brand has come out with a tinted moisturizer mineral sunscreen that has coverage like real coverage you know so love it we'll talk more about this soon i'll do like a demo and all that coming soon okay the last three things i have to go quick oh my god all right um pressed powder this is a pressed powder by shantakai this is not cheap i want to say this is like a 70 dollar powder I didn't know how much it was when I bought it. I like went into the store, I really needed a new pressed powder because the one I was using was by Glow Minerals and I loved it, like how it looked, but it's not very clean. It has some ingredients in it that didn't really sit well with me, but I did want to finish it up. So anyway, I finished it up, needed something new. There are not a lot of powders out there that are pressed that are in the cleaner realm. It's hard to find, it's hard to find. That also have a little bit of coverage. So a little bit of coverage and a pressed powder that's clean, not very easy to find. So this one by Shantakai is pretty clean. Um, this is actually a powder foundation, they call it. I don't think it has too much coverage. I just use it to set, I guess it kind of does a little bit. I use, it's on this finger. I use it to set the Sun Integrity, I mean the um, Color Science product. So I just do a little dusting all over the face. It adds a hint of coverage, but mostly it just kind of mattifies my skin all over. But why this is very special is this is actually made for drier skin. It's good on oily skin. It's not a mattifying powder, but it kind of, it, what am I trying to say? What's nice about this powder is it's good for all skin types, even dry, because I am no longer, even though I am oily, I am no longer in that world where I can use mattifying powders because I am 36 years old. I feel like I have to keep talking about this, but it's a real shift that has happened at, with age. So although I'm still a normal oily person, there's some fine lines that are around on my skin and I can't use, you know, products necessarily built for oily skin because they make me look older. So I have to be really careful. And this is a powder that lays very beautifully on the skin, looks stunning, doesn't pick up on any dry patches or, you know, doesn't sit weirdly on oily areas either, doesn't make me look super greasy. Like, cause there are some like moisturizing powders. We don't want that either. It's like, has to be this happy medium. <laughs> and this powder has been amazing. It does come with a sponge underneath, a really nice one too. For $74, it better be. Um, but yeah, really, really high quality. There, This might be refillable. I actually think it is. It looks like it is. I think this might be a refillable compact. And if so, that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, but really great pressed powder. I'll definitely be repurchasing this even though it's expensive. I really am enjoying how it looks on my skin, how it feels on my skin, and it's not bothering my skin either. Very important. Okay, last two things before I jump out of here. All right, um, two things from Beauty Counter. If you guys aren't aware, I am a Beauty Counter consultant, but obviously I use tons of other beauty products as well, but Beauty Counter is pretty incomparable in terms of safety and clean in terms of, you know, 
their standards for what constitutes a clean beauty product and and they also have that high performance level that is really important to me as well. It can't just be clean, it has to also work really well. So I like to include these beauty counter favorites when I can because it's important to know what stuff from beauty counter really works, right? So anyway, these are two things I've used all summer that I'm going to continue to use. One is, actually let's do the one I've been using longer. This is the Sheer Genius in, I wanna say, a pearl. It's like a chapstick. Okay, it has a little bit of my lip pencil. It's clear, right? But it has a hint of shimmer in it. You can't even tell on camera. It looks like nothing at all. But I use this with lip liner. So I'll use like a regular lip liner. I've gone back and forth with a couple. And then I just use this as like a chapstick. And it looks so nice. It feels nice. It has that natural vanilla. So if you're looking for something just with that little hint of shimmer to kind of give a little more plumpness to the lips, an illusion of plumpness, but yet you just want that hydration, this is a great little underrated shade. It's not really a color, but it's there and it's nice. Um, and then the last thing before I pop out of here is, oh my God, my computer's gonna die. The new Think Big Mascara. The shape of this product, questionable, funny also. But this mascara is incredible. Not only is it EWG verified, which is the safest you can get in terms of clean beauty products, but it has tripeptides in it that are really gonna nourish the lashes and they have studies done over a four week period that when users use this every day, the strength and fullness of their lashes improved. So that is huge. Like I obviously like having a nice a lash and knowing that what I'm putting on my lashes every day is not only super safe but gonna help nourish them. That's incredible. Now this mascara is dramatic. It's meant to be volumizing, lengthening, super dark pigment, it's got it all. So if you want like a natural lash, this is not for you. I like a bolder, more dramatic lash. So I've really been loving this. It has the um, plastic, plastic sort of bristle wands. I prefer these. I also love Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. Um, that look is what I go for. If you didn't like Thrive because you don't like the tubing formula, this is not a tubing formula, but it looks very similar. So I actually have a whole blog post comparing the two. So if you want to kind of read more about that, I'll link it below. But otherwise, this has been a great, great new launch from Beauty Counter. I highly recommend trying it if you're looking for a clean mascara that gives you all the drama, all the volume, all the length. So anyway, I got to go pick up my little one at school. But those are some of the summer favorites I'm going to continue to use through the fall. And I hope you give some of them a try if they fit some of the needs you have in your routine. But if you have any questions, comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe as I grow this channel now and have my focus set. And I appreciate you all for sticking around and being here. Thanks so much.